Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In the next few lessons, we're going to go through the tax return process step by step so you fully understand the maths involved in doing a tax return. So step one of the tax return is to list your income from all different sources. So chances are you don't just have one source of income, right? For example, as a teacher, I have some money in the bank. Um, I probably could get a part-time job or I probably have a house that I rent to other people. All of this counts as different income sources. So the first step is to list the different sources you have and calculate exactly how much income you have. So let's do an example. Okay, let's say John earns $500 per week from his full-time job and $120 per fortnight from a part-time job. During the year, he also earned $90 interest from his bank account. Calculate his total gross income for the financial year. So if it's for the financial year, they typically don't say it. Um, you just have to know that this is for the year because we're doing a tax return right now. So we have $500 per week. So let me write down what we're calculating first. So we're calculating the total annual gross income. Annual means um, year, yearly. Um, so we have $500 per week. So how many weeks are there in a year? 52. Now some might argue that it's 52 point something, but usually at school we're pretty happy with just 52 weeks in a year. Plus $120 per fortnight. So there are 26 fortnights in a year. Fortnight just means two weeks. And then we have $90 interest. And it does not say how often you get paid that. So we're going to assume that it's a yearly interest. So let's type all that into the calculator. And you will get $29,210. So that is your total gross income. The money that you earn without any deductions. Okay, let's go to step two. Add up your deductions, work-related expenses. So chances are John is going to have some sort of work-related expense, which I'm going to list now. So John travels between jobs once a week for 15 kilometers each time. He is allowed to claim 66 cents per kilometer traveled as a deduction. I believe the 66 cents is current uh, on the Australian tax office website. Um, maybe if you watch this video in the future, it might change. But right now on the date that this video is made, it's pretty current and calculate his travel deduction. Now I'm going to add another condition because that's what I see on the Australian tax office website. Um, Calculate his travel deduction if he's allowed to claim a maximum of fifty thousand. Uh, sorry, five thousand kilometers. Okay, so what do I have? I have um, sixty-six cents, so that's zero point six six. Actually, let's work out how many kilometers he's traveled. So 15 kilometers per week, there are 52 weeks. So that is 780 kilometers. So that's nowhere near 5,000. So don't even worry about the 5,000. And then we're going to multiply that by 0 0.66. So 780 times 0 0.66 and the answer is uh, 514 point eight. 
So that is his travel deduction. Okay, which we're going to take out of his income in a second. Let's figure out if he has any other deductions. During the year, John bought some protective clothing for $200 and pays $5 per week to get it cleaned professionally. He also bought a computer for $1,000, which he's allowed to claim 50% for depreciation. So um, the total deductions will be his travel deduction, which is $514. Dollars eighty cents plus the two hundred dollars for protective clothing, plus five dollars per week to get it clean. So there are fifty-two weeks in a year. Times that by fifty-two. Plus he bought a computer for a thousand dollars, and he is allowed to claim fifty percent of that amount for depreciation. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, basically it just means that the computer which he bought for work is going to lose value over time. And he's allowed to claim for how much value that it loses. So you're going to claim 50% of $1,000, so 1,000 times 0 0.5 for the 50%. So let's type all of this into the calculator. 514.8 plus 200 plus 5 times 52 plus uh, 1000 times 0 0.5 is just 500 but anyway let's just type it all in and we got 1474.80 and that is the total amount of deductions so what's next in our PowerPoint? Well, now we can find out his taxable income. So the taxable income is how much income he really earns, how much income that the government should use to calculate how much tax he's supposed to pay. So let's go taxable income equals, oops, taxable income equals total income minus deductions so then we have uh, what is this total income 29,210 minus his deductions 1,474.8 and how much do I have left 29210 minus 1474.8 and the answer is 27735.2 so 27 dollars and 20 cents would be his taxable income and then in the next lesson, what we're going to do is then carry on to calculate how much tax he is supposed to pay using the current tax rates. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.